All right, everybody, turn your Bibles to Numbers chapter 12, the King James. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Now, a little something here. It says that Moses married an Ethiopian woman. Uh, and everybody would say, well, that's proof she's black. Uh, no, it just says that this woman's from Ethiopia. Ethiopia was one of the lands of Ham. You know, you had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was not of the chosen seed. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean necessarily that she was black. Just because the people in Ethiopia today are of one particular ethnic group doesn't mean that they were the same thing back in the old days. Um, let's face it. There was a time when Haiti was a French colony. And um, the black Haitians uh, rose up and killed all the white people on the island. And today you go there and they're all black. Uh, does that mean that they were always black? No. No, it doesn't mean that at all. But uh, now Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. The only thing that I know that they export is uh, Barbancourt rum. That's it. So, you know, it's like uh, South Africa. A hundred years ago, if you said, oh, I'm from South Africa, well, you were, you were white of either Dutch or English descent. But uh, the African National Congress, which is communist, by the way, they're exterminating all the white farmers. And, uh, and it's uh, turning into a third world country. So, uh, does that mean that uh, Moses married a black woman because it says she was from Ethiopia? Not necessarily. You know? I don't know. One day we'll find out. Personally, I think she was just a non-covenant woman. But uh, Moses must have liked her. Uh, so, what can I tell you? Numbers 12. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because, because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Now Miriam was the sister of Moses. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? For, and the Lord heard it. Now the man, man Moses was very meek, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision or, uh, and will speak unto him in a dream. Remember, this series is dreams and visions, right? If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him I will speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches, and the similitude of the Lord shall be he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against him, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Now, all these demon nominational Bible preachers will tell you, oh, yeah, Moses married a black woman. I don't think so. 
but I just think she lived in the land of uh, Ethiopia, and the Ethio the original Ethiopians were of the tribe of, uh, well, they were of Ham, as in Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the three sons of Noah. So, all right, so, verse 11, And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, she, uh, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward the people removed from Hazaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. So, the Lord said, verse 6, And he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. So, dreams and visions, right? All right, all blessings, praise, glory and honor, God the Father. And in Jesus' precious name, amen.